Hey plant lovers, I'm Jess from Fertilizer Queen and welcome to another video. Today I will be unboxing and sort of giving a first look review on a grow light that was sent to me by Cray Lights and at the end of the video I will explain how I sort of stole this sponsorship from my friend James at Slip Plants. I'm recording in my plant room um, which means that it's extremely hot and extremely humid in here and I'm wearing a jumper so it's probably going to get quite um, sweaty in here. Let's pretend it's just like magnificent highlighter or something like that. All right let's get to it. So this is the box um, that the grow light is in. I've actually had this box lying around my house for several months and I haven't gotten around to unboxing and making a video yet. Um, so I'm really excited to get it open and see what we're going to see inside. Um, I'm not using scissors, I'm using some relatively cheap um, dog nail cutting scissors. I actually use these to trim um, my plants to take cuttings because I really like them. They're much smaller than like a regular um, shears and they're like the perfect size for like philodendron. So I use these to propagate my plants. Okay, so I've taken off the plastic strap things, but this box is like heavy duty packed. Um, let's see if I can get it open. I actually um, don't use many specific grow lights and by many I mean I have one single actual grow light from another company who I won't mention because I paid for that light um, but the rest of my lights are just um, LEDs with like a specific output um, I can explain a bit more about that in another video if you like um, so I'm excited to have this light because winter is coming here in the Netherlands, which means it's getting very dark and uh, I can always do with more light for my plants. Okay, the box is sort of open. I'm going to cut these because they're really annoying. So the box was packed really well. Um, it was sent to me free of charge but I did have to pay um, some import costs. Um, I can't remember exactly how much it was. I think it was between about 20 to 30 euro, give or take. I can look it up, but it's not so relevant. But just so you know, if you're in sort of Netherlands, Europe area, that you are going to be charged import possibly. Um, oh God, it's heavy. Right, okay, nice. Wow, this is packed really, really well. There's a user manual. Kare High Uniformity Horticulture LED Grow Light. So the functionality from this seems very similar to my other grow lights. Um, you can also connect multiple together in an array. Then a little thank you card um, with information on how to find them. I will link that information under the video. A good thing to know that this month in October, they are doing uh, rather big sales. So it's a good time to check them out and grab yourself one of these grow lights. This is just some clips for hanging it. Um, this comes, something similar comes with my other grow light as well. And also this. So these are quite nice. Um, most of these grow lights are made with different types of growers in mind. They come with a system where you can easily lower and raise the light, which makes sense for plants that are growing very fast. Yeah, they're nice for hanging, but for, for yeah, arrowed people or indoor house plant people, it's not usually necessary to be lifting and dropping your plants frequently. Then there's a cable, if you were to connect this one to another one, um, and I have to say, it's very, very heavy. It's a lot heavier than my other light. Um, like, it feels very sturdy. 
My other light is a bit different. So this is a lead panel like this. That piece of tape stuck to my elbow is the most annoying thing ever. My other light is a lot thicker. It's in, oh, that was another one of the hangers. The other one is kind of in a, in a shell. This is really nice and lightweight and it feels very sturdy. A lot sturdier than my other grow light, which actually surprises me because the other grow light is a brand that um, is a lot more mainstream, let's say. Yeah, I have to say it looks really, really good. I'm just looking at the back here and I see that it has a CE mark, which is good. Um, and IP, so it has a lot of a lot of different ratings. It looks really nice. It's really sturdy. It looks great. So I have an extension cable. I've plugged it in. Moment of truth. Let's see if it turns on. Ta-da! Okay, so it does turn on. Okay, um, I can't really point this directly at... Oh, sweet Jesus. <laughs> um, <laughs> I can't point this at the camera because it's incredibly too bright um well, let's see maybe i can dim it ah yes so if i dim it maybe i can point it it seems to have blue yellow and red so it is a full spectrum light that is also what they claim um i don't claim to know too much about grow lights i just know what works for me these sort of lights they come with a dimmer so right now it's on min and that's max so a good thing to bear in mind is if you're using one of these with your regular house plants and not for growing um, tomatoes and those sort of special things is you want to keep, uh, you want to have something with the dimmer because this is in way too bright for your house plants, especially at short range. So you want to be able to dim it down, which this has, which is perfect. Yeah, I have to say I'm really, really impressed with the quality. It seems very sturdy, very, very well built heavy but I mean you know that's good um, and I have zero complaints it seems on first look um, a lot better made than my other grow light that's kind of my first review I will be setting this up I will be using it and I will be updating you guys on my Instagram account on how it's going and I might do another video just on updates on what I think of this guy. Now it's on. Huh? Am I an idiot? I am an idiot, there's another button. Okay. <laughs> For a minute there, I thought that it couldn't be turned off. It can. So yeah, only good things to say about this. It looks super waterproof, like all the cabling is done really well. It all has CE marks. I'm really, really impressed. I'm looking forward to seeing how it does and updating you guys on it. If you're interested in getting a grow light, do check out Corey Lights. All their links will be down in my description. And as I mentioned this month in October, they are doing quite high sales. I think between 25 to 35% off. Uh, on items so do check it out i'm looking forward again as i said setting this up and updating you guys on how it's doing so now on to the clickbaity part because if life gives you a clickbait opportunity you must take it and um, how i stole this light from my friend james slug plants um it wasn't an active theft i didn't do it on purpose it just sort of happened so basically, Corey Lights contacted me on Instagram and they said, hey, how would you like to try out one of our lights and see how it works for you? And I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I'd be down for that. So um, we messaged back and forth for a little while and uh, they agreed to send me a light. They asked for all my details. I gave them my full name and address and they told me that they sent the light. So that was all well and good. Um, and a couple of days later, my boyfriend walks in the door and he says hey jess there's a package here for james or something you got from james and james and i you probably know him his name is slug plants on instagram and here on youtube it's james armstrong w um he's 
a really good friend of mine and he's a great content creator. I love him so much, but we're quite close. So we have in the past shipped things to each other or shipped things to each other's houses on the other person's name. So basically the delivery guy was like, James. So my boyfriend said, yep, yeah, that's me. And he hands him the package and he comes in and I'm like, James isn't sending me anything. I don't have anything coming that belongs to James. What's going on? So I look at the box and I look at the details and I'm like, wait, this is the grow light. Like what, what is going on here? Now this is, I hope you can see it. This is how the box arrived to James Armstrong W, Jessica Zafshi, and then my address. So I messaged James and I was like, James, I'm really confused. Um, so I explained everything to him and he was like, there's no way, there's no way, like they clearly realized it was you. So I was like, no, I think this was supposed to be for you. So I messaged Corey Lights and I was like, hi, thank you so much, the package arrived. Um, but I just wanted to ask you, it says James Armstrong W on it. Like you do realize that we're not the same person. And they were like, oh no. So anyway, there was a mistake made. Probably what happened was James um, more than likely had like a link to my Instagram account in one of his videos and somehow Corey Lights navigated to my Instagram account instead of his Instagram account. So yeah, that's it. It's not very exciting. It's very exciting for me because I, I got a grow light for being friends with someone brilliant. Um, but yeah, that's the moral of the story. Steal your friends' sponsorships so you can get amazing grow lights like this. Thank you Corey Lights for letting me keep the light and for letting me make this video and test it out and see how it goes. If you have any other questions about grow lights or whatever, you can um, leave a comment here or send me a message on Instagram. My Instagram is Fertilizer Queen. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel because if you don't, my mother will keep asking my family members to subscribe to my channel. And that is so embarrassing. Nobody should have to live through that. So help me out, thanks. And the last shameless plug, if you like my jumper that is making me super warm in this room, um, you can go to fertilizerqueen.com and buy your own. It's designed by me. Yeah, that's it. Hope you guys have a nice day and see you next time. Bye.